Good morning, everyone. It is so cold right now. It's 50 degrees right now in Florida. Unfortunately, cold season means sick season. I'm afraid the girls Mommy, are gonna start getting sick. Mommy, Our PJs are literally baby, so cute. My hair. Where's the monster? Baby, my hair. Oh, Alicia's a monster? Let's go fix your hair, Ellie, and then we can go make breakfast, okay? <laughs> Singing? Yes, mommy. What are you I, singing? No, up is here. Oh, okay. I hate vlogging in the morning sometimes because it's always so dark in the house. Today's breakfast, we're gonna make some cinnamon rolls, and I love Trader Joe's ones. I think those ones are probably the best cinnamon rolls I've ever bought. That looks so mommy. yummy. Yes, baby. Go get your bike then. Do you guys hear this? She said, I want my bike. And then I say, go get your bike. And then she says, no. I want the bike. That's literally, you want the bike. She, did you guys hear that? She wants the bike. Okay, go get it then. You don't want it now. Okay. I'm very, very confused. I feel like I'm in a toxic relationship. By the way, if you have not already, Trader Joe's has the best creamer ever. This is a brown sugar oat creamer. And my aunt in Texas, introduced me to this creamer and it's so yummy i just started using my nespresso machine again it's been sitting in the corner for a while because i was originally using my coffee machine and it broke so we're going back to the nespresso pods this honestly tastes like the brown sugar shaken espresso cheers we're gonna do a learning with kelsey activity today oh my god ellie look there's spiders in here Today is the dot sticker spiders. So this activity will promote. Yeah, but we're not gonna touch the spiders. We're gonna do the dot stickers, which is your favorite. Use dot stickers to cover the spider's body. As your child is covering them, name the colors and practice counting. What color do you want to do? What color? Orange. Orange. Okay. How many is there? How many is there? Count. One, two. Good job. Blue. Okay, you want that blue. Here, here you go. What color do you want to do? Pink. You want to do pink? Can you count how many colors there are? How many? One, two, three, four. Good job. One of the people who's in charge of the neighborhood actually came over yesterday. She thought she was three years old because of how well she spoke. And I was like, no, she's two. She just like recently turned two. I feel like that's like the compliment we always get when we go out is everyone always talks about how well she speaks. So we're gonna finish up this activity and then get everyone ready for the day to go to the park. And then we have some things that we have to do while we're out. I'll probably see you guys when we get back home. And I also wanna tell you guys the story time with our neighbors, so stay tuned to that. After breakfast, we went to the park at 9 a.m. and we were there for about an hour and a half and the weather was perfect. The thing is, it was packed over there. Also, my nose is hurting a lot too because it was so cold outside, but we had to meet up with two people today to drop off some furniture that we were selling on Facebook market since we have our closing date we're kind of just like slowly selling furniture that we're not gonna need in the new house and then while we were doing that we went to Target to grab some things for our trip we're going to Georgia and the cabin company is like letting us stay here for free which is really nice so I got Alicia more long sleeves because this girl is growing so fast that the clothes that I originally bought for her don't even fit her anymore I got her this piece and then I also got her this as well this set is for Eliana, and what's cute about it is that it flares at the bottom. And I also got Alicia this. It comes with little booties, and then also a beanie as well. Alicia definitely has less hair than Eliana when she was a baby, so homegirl needs a beanie. And then I also got some leggings for her, and then I also got her these little shoes as well. This is for Eliana, a pink 
jacket. I also forgot, I actually have two bottoms for Eliana. We got them in size 3T, even though she usually wears a size T2. And they're so cute because they have flowers on it. And then some jeggings. I'm gonna make my famous chicken quesadillas. Super easy, quick, nothing fancy. You just need tortillas. And then roasted chicken breasts, some cheese, cheese of your liking. I feel like this is what makes it taste really good. Black truffle infused olive oil, black truffle infused hot sauce. You're gonna heat up your chicken and then you're gonna cook it with the black truffle infused olive oil. Be pretty generous about this. I always cook too much chicken. The packaging does say that it's seasoned already with salt and pepper, but I'm gonna season it a little bit more. Just something small, simple, and then I like to take some hot sauce and put it on the plate as well and eat it together. So while I eat my lunch, I'm gonna share with you guys the story about our neighbors. The whole thing is all about parking. There's this plot of land, I'll put a picture right here. So our whole neighborhood uses this plot of land to park when the neighborhood is crowded. Our neighborhood has permission to park in this area and we've been using it for two years now. We've been living here for exactly two years. No one ever had a problem with it except our neighbors who recently moved in. Our neighbors hate the fact that people park in this area because there's cars in front of their house. But the thing is our whole neighborhood has cars parked in front of their house. So they're acting like they're the only ones who have cars parked in front of their house. They clearly got to see this neighborhood and how it works and they still chose to buy the house. So at first they started with their car. They would park their car vertical so no one can have access to this plot of land. Oh. Basically, they're just acting like they own this whole area. So they started doing that for a few months. That's when the wife decided to put flower pots there. So she put four flower pots out there at 4 a.m. And we know this because me and Elijah were awake this day when we saw her dragging flower pots outside. They are so creepy and hardheaded that they would actually watch people from their window. They don't have any blinds. They would just sit by their window and watch people. And if they see anyone touch the flower pots or try to park in that area, they come racing out their door. Our first interaction with them was when our friends were in town and they had to park and there was no parking in the neighborhood. So they had to park on that plot of land. So my husband decided to move those flower pots so that they can park and of course the second you touch the flower pots she comes running racing out and she does this with all the neighbors it's not just us two my friends did get to park but she takes her flower pot and puts it directly behind their car so they can't back out and so my husband sees that he goes to their house and he was like hey my friends are gonna leave soon can we just move the flower pot away from their car for a bit and when my husband went to go address her she cut him off and literally said no so elijah goes out of his way to move the flower pot away from their car and that's when the lady comes and runs after him and starts tugging on him so this is when she puts her hands on him and of course we called the cops because she put her hands on my husband and we thought our ring camera caught the footage of it but unfortunately only caught the audio so i'll insert here We were hoping she was gonna go to jail, but the only thing we caught was audio and that wasn't enough for the officer. However, the officer definitely sided with us on this situation. The husband came out going crazy and the officer literally had to tell him that you need to calm down. So that was our first interaction with them. And another thing the husband decided to do was take his car out of his garage and park it on our property. And then he came out staring at us in the window, drinking a cup of coffee. By the way, we're filing our harassment order on them because of the things they did, especially like her husband now this is the second interaction my husband went to go grab me coffee and flowers he was trying to surprise me he couldn't get into the gate so he had to park in that dirt area again where we're allowed to park we've been parking there for like two years he moves the pot hops into the car and he just sees the old lady running out barefoot jumps in front of the car puts her hand on top of our car and she basically just stands there and Elijah got the whole thing on recording because I told my husband, the next time you have an interaction with them, record the whole entire thing because these people can get really aggressive, which you guys will see in the video. Can you tell me why you're blocking the car? Yeah, you know why. Why? Why? Tell me why. And 
and she basically just refuses to move and then her husband of course comes crawling out because they're like a team the wife comes out first and then the husband comes out following you guys just see in the video they're basically butting heads leave yeah. us in peace. have respect for your neighbors yeah. how about you just leaving us in peace that we should have yeah. a parking lot in front of our house well, you two are the one harassing me i'm just coming to park here right no you did house. You literally ran in front of my car. You can hear Alicia literally crying in the back. And we're sick of it. Don't we're yell sick at me. of it. Don't yell at me. Hey, we're sick of it. I don't have a weapon in my hand, but I got a camera on you. I got a camera on you. I'll that's, record that's every minute. That's all I need. That's yeah, all I you're need. You're a big guy too, aren't you? I don't need to be a big guy yeah, to know that you're an you. asshole. Because no, your husband, that. your husband, do not, that. do not touch me. If do not touch me. Deal, don't ever touch me again. I told you once before, do never touch don't me. Lecture okay? Don't lecture I don't even lecture you. Don't you are way too old to be acting like this. Really? If you knock on my door, I don't yell at you because you see you're coming as a normal, rational person. A rational person wouldn't run out here barefoot blocking a car in. Don't talk to me about being rational when you're irrational. Everything about you, everything you've done in this neighborhood is irrational. Quote the view. Whatever. It's disgusting. You have no Thank disgusting. Thank you. I like being irrational. Thank yeah. you. You're Appreciate a menace it. to this community. Really? That's what you are. Yeah. You're a menace. You're, you're, you're not, right? No, I'm not. Because I don't bother neighbors. Neither I don't neither harass neither neighbors. Neither do we. In fact, a lot of other neighbors like have been saying the exact same thing about both of you, of you harassing people. You guys are constantly harassing. And so we call our HOA president to come and help us out. They get even more aggressive because the old guy just honestly feels really intimidated against him. And so he's trying to entice him to throw a punch over parking by the way i was inside sleeping at this time i went outside and i told elijah hey just leave the car here if they refuse to move and the funny thing is i'll show you guys a picture of how our car was left the white car that's parked like this is our car and then the car that you guys see that white car guess what that's their car that's literally their car so you're telling me I can't park out here, but you can? I'm telling you guys, they're the biggest hypocrites ever. We left our car like that and we went inside and they decided to just sit out there for like two hours and just watch our car to make sure that we didn't hop in there and try to move our car even more. That's basically what happened. We are not the only ones dealing with them. We have this whole like HOA page where we just talk about these neighbors and how people have interactions with them. I've seen them chase so many people outside before, like from my window. We're in the process of moving and we're gonna need our moving truck in the front of our house in that parking spot. So we already know we're gonna have multiple more interactions with them. And we're also renting this house out too. So I feel for whoever is gonna be renting our house because the last thing I want is our renters to be harassed by our neighbors but that is basically it it's a little stressful at first i thought it was funny but after this second interaction i'm honestly kind of like overwhelmed if there's any more updates we'll let you guys know but other than that that's pretty much it